we're ready to do Z type 2 problems. What makes these problems different from the Z type 1 problems? Well, pretty much I'm doing the problem in reverse. I'm given the probability and I'm asked to find the Z score. Let's look at the first problem on page 13. As I explain, you're given the probability or percentage or proportion or area, they're all synonymous, to the left of little z. Little z's are found along this continuous number line. The area to the left of little z is 4168. So where would that be on this number line? Well, if I'm here, that z would have been um, zero and the the area to the left would be 50% or 0.5. So our problem must be slightly to the left of that to make 41.68% fall to the left. So I'd say it's about there. And the question becomes, what? is this. What is the z corresponding to that area? How would I find that out? Well, in the z type 1 problems, the question was asked in the, re in the reverse. <clears throat> I was given the z, and then I would find the probability. Now, I'm giving the probability, and I need to find the z. Since this is a backward problem, we need to do the backward actions or reverse actions. So what we're going to do is look inside the table. And then out. These would reverse the actions that we did before. So looking inside it out means looking for the number 4168.4168 through the table. Remembering the table is in the reverse as we move from the negative to zero. The most negative to zero is going in this direction down the table. And I'm going to continue looking, looking, looking. And it's down here. Aha, stop. 4168. Here it is. Here it is. And it corresponds to negative 0.21. This represents the z score. So our answer is negative 0.21. Put it right up here. equals zero point two negative kind of messy. Let's do it in red. Equals negative. So z is equal to negative 0.21. Or in other words, it's located 0.21 standard deviations below the mean of zero. Uh, 